Hello everybody, in this video we will learn how to modify and manipulate images using the Python Pillow image library. Pillow library allows us to do many different things to our images, such as changing images extensions, cropping, resizing, changing their colors, blurring, using some effects and much more. For more details, you can visit the developer's website and read the documentation. In this lecture, we, we will learn open show save and rotate functions but before that i want to go to the developers website and see how we can make installation for our library here our developer uh, website is here for windows it's simple actually for mac is also similar and for linux also as you see if you are working on a windows computer you need to open your command and after that you need to say pip install pillow for the mac is also same and for the linux is also same for the Windows, let's see it because I am working on a Windows computer. I will say here only pip install pillow. That's all. And after that, enter. As you see, it said requirement already satisfied. That means I already installed my library. And you, if you don't, if you didn't install it, you can uh, you it uh, Python will install uh, the library for you. Okay. And now if I go back to PyCharm Community Edition here, I will say right click and new and Python file and I want to say it pillow, okay, pillow and after that here and as you see I already have a picture here, its name is freedom.jpg. So how you can paste it here, it's simple, come to here and say paste, okay, and you can paste your picture here. And before using, we need to import our library and also module. How we can do it? We will say from PIL import image. Okay, this is our module. And after that, here I will create a variable, and I, its name is image. And I will say image is equal to image dot open. And now I will say my picture name. Its name is freedom that jpeg okay now i opened my picture with that but how can i show it i need to say to show my Im image and say image dot show let's check it how it is working if i run it as you see now i opened my picture here and also if you you can also open your picture is if you click here okay double click and you can open it you also you can see like the size the color some information about your picture also and let's go back here I want to comment out this guy before and what is next also let's learn how to use save function okay for to save function we need to say again image dot save and here we need to give a new name for our picture for example if I say freedom to that jpeg okay and after that if i run this code on the right side let's see it as you see now i have freedom to that jpeg but this one as you see i use same extension here my first picture it was it is jpeg right and i here i said jpeg do i have to do that no i don't have to do that if you want you can also save your image image okay with another extension for example image dot save and I will say here freedom dot PNG let's run it and as you see now I have here freedom dot PNG if I want to show it for example of course I can do it I will, and I will not get any error okay and here what I, what I need to do I need to create another variable actually or you can only click this one and see your picture as you see it is same and I didn't get get any error if you change your extension okay doesn't matter uh, if you want to uh, when you save if you want to use another extension now let's comment this out too and what is next the our function is our rotate function actually for this lecture this one is the last uh, the last function and uh, in other lectures we will we will learn other things about our uh, library okay to use rotate function we have two ways okay the first one we need to create a new variable for example new img i will say and i will say the image my image dot rotate 
and now I need to say here it's degree let's say 90 okay and after that I need to say here new image dot show this is the first way and let's check it as you see now I rotated my image 90 degrees with my this function of course you can say for example here and let's comment this guys out too I will say for example new image copy this guys actually again and here if you want to rotate it minus 45 for example of course you can use also minus degrees let's check it as you see also you can use minus degrees and the other way is also I want to show it I think it is easier way for me of course maybe uh, it depends on the person of course but it is only one line code and you don't need to create a new variable like here we create new image and after that we rotate our image right here I will say simply image dot rotate and here I will say for example 45 degree and after that I will say shove and let's check it it is working or not as you see this code is also works this is better actually as you see now here I, I have to create a new variable and after that I need to say uh, show my image but this one is you can say you can use two functions here together image that rotate and after that you can say show okay that one is easier way uh, for rotating and let's comment this guy out also let's you say this time rotate and 90 degrees okay and let's check our picture if I run it as you see now it's also working with 40 90 degrees and this is first lecture about a uh, pillow module and we will uh, learn more things in uh, next lectures for now that's all see you in the next